Uncle Lou. Yes, I've seen some of your amazing recipes on YouTube. I challenge you to make my famous vegan Jamaican patties. <laughs> Many have tried and failed. Let's see if you can do it. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome back to Uncle Lou's Kitchen. <laughs> Fabulous. Today, I'm going to be making plant-based Leon's Jamaican patties. Now, to those of you who don't know, plant-based Leon, he's got a vegan YouTube channel just like mine. His is more entertainment and it's, it's very, very good. I highly recommend you subscribe. I'm going to put a link to his Instagram there and in the description also his YouTube account. So please do check it out. Like I said, he's a lovely guy, man. He's very, very funny as well. So yeah, today basically we're going to be making um, the Jamaican patties. I used to eat this all the time, but I've never made it myself. So all of a sudden here comes Leon and uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. I'm like, let's do this, my bad man. So yeah, today we're going to be making Jamaican vegan patties a la plant-based Leon. As always, if you like vegan food, vegetarian food, plant-based, whatever, there's no animals or animal products on my channel, hit the like button, hit subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I love you all. Have an amazing day. Let's get cooking. So let's run through the ingredients super quick. You're gonna want four cups of self-raising flour that you've run through a sieve, half a tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of curry powder, half a cup of vegetable suet, I'm also using a Torah, just under one tablespoon of salt, half a cup of vegan butter, one cup of water. So we're gonna start off by adding all our dry ingredients into the flour and give it a nice stir, make sure it's all blended correctly. And we're gonna add our vegetable suet and our vegan butter. Now, here's the thing, with the suet, you're still gonna find little bits even after you've kneaded it and everything, so don't worry if you still see the bits that are whole. Nothing you can do, and it doesn't really affect the, well, I didn't notice that it affected anything anyway. Then we're gonna add our water and just uh, roll it up into a nice thick ball. Now, the dough should be pretty tough. This isn't pizza dough. And I'm just gonna cover it up with my shower cap and refrigerate it for one to two hours. Now get a pen ready because we're gonna go over the next ingredients which is for the filling. So for the filling, I'm using 400 grams of vegan mincemeat. I've got one whole onion, finely chopped, four cloves of garlic, also finely chopped, and one shredded cube of ginger, one inch, half a cup of red peppers, two spring onions cut into small pieces, and some chopped tomatoes in a can. I'm also using half a teaspoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of gravy granules, and one cup of boiling water, which will be mixed with the gravy, obviously. Now, I didn't have any ready-made mixed spice, so I just made my own. You want one spoon in total, so you're gonna use a pinch of ginger, a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of ground coriander, and some allspice as well, which is quite common in Jamaican cuisine. And of course, it wouldn't be a Jamaican dish without a little heat, so we're gonna add one tablespoon of dried chili flakes. Also, for the mixed herbs, I didn't have a ready-made one, so I'm just adding a pinch of each of these to make one tablespoon, so I'm using oregano, basil, and parsley. And finally, two tablespoons of soy sauce. So we're gonna start off by melting in a pan some uh, vegan butter. Now, I've never cooked with this, so I don't know how much to use or whatever, so I just went along with it until the pan started drying up and then I just added some more. I suggest you do the same. Just fry your onions and your base, basically your onions, your garlic and your ginger. Then move on to the vegan mints. Crumble it up nicely. Add a bit of turmeric and your spices. Now, you could equally use TVP, TPV, whatever they call it, the, uh, the dried soya. That's what I generally use for mincemeat and it would work the same. So if you've got that, that's also fine. Now we're gonna make the gravy and add that in. Now I'm doing this on a low heat for about 40 minutes, just to give enough time for the flavors to infuse. I also noticed that Leon was going extra authentic with his curry powder. I think he was using Madras curry from India. I decided I'd uh, be a little less authentic and use actual Jamaican curry powder in mine. I recommend Tex. Tex is a good brand, we like this. And now brace yourselves, the next bit is a total pain in the neck. This is probably the hardest part of the recipe, rolling these out. This dough is very, very hard. It's not hard to work with, it's just very, very tough. Um, so you're gonna need to put some elbow grease into rolling them out. Personally, I found that the thinner ones came out better than the thicker ones. So I'd roll it like just under half a centimeter, not as thick as you'll see some of mine. But because it's my first time making this, I did some of them thicker and some of them thinner. Again, 
by far the thinner ones always come out better so do roll it thin in the end i was left with about 13 patties now once your filling mix has boiled down and it's not as runny and liquidy turn it off put it to the side and let it just rest at room temperature until you can work with it and finally we reach the fun part you want to get some of your vegan mince meat and add a tablespoon of it in the center and you want to dab some water around the edges just to moisten it up and here comes the beauty Look at that. Let's, let's just take a moment to pause and say, wow. Look at how nice that looks. Winning. And there you are, your 13 patties. With the leftover meat, basically, I just added that to pasta. And now we're just going to give them a quick rub with some almond milk or whatever plant-based milk you have. Make sure you get them all. Nearly forgot. There you go. And you want to bung them in the oven for 30 minutes on 180 degrees C. Look at these bad boys. So as you can see, I've got one. Okay, are you ready? Check this out. Look at how perfect that is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Flipping hell. Leon, mate, you're a legend. Wait one second, I'm gonna film the bite reaction, wait. Okay, here goes, right? Ah. Oh. Oh. Burnt myself. I figured I'd uh, do the rest out in the garden. I had to let them cool down to room temperature. I burnt my mouth. Anyhow, just um, enjoying the final bit of sunshine. Whatever's left of it. Folks, have an amazing evening. Amazing week. As always, please hit the like button and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Love you all. Take care. And there you have it. Plant-based Leon's vegan Jamaican patties. An amazing recipe. I really, really did enjoy this. I ended up eating about five of them in a row. You can put them in the freezer and just warm them up in the microwave whenever you want. And of course, a very special thank you going out to plant-based Leon himself. It's been an absolute pleasure, buddy. Please do check out his YouTube and his social media channels. The links are in the description along with the recipe. Take care. Oh, by the way, Leon, my man, you ain't getting this for free. I'm challenging you to make my vegan pina colada cake. Do you realize how beautiful this thing is? Right, just try it out for yourself. I want to see a video and yeah, let's, let's have fun.